Hello, I'm Greg Scott. And at one time I served as a staff sergeant in the United States Air Force as a firefighter. And today is the Memorial Day for 2017. It's a wonderful gathering and tradition that has blessed our county for many years. Veterans from all over the county come here to share with each other the fellowship and the camaraderie that we share in the honor of serving our country. We here salute our flag and we ask for, thank you for the blessings that God gave us to have this country as great as it can to protect and serve us. We uh, think of our veterans of those who uh, again signed the contract to serve with their lives and we thank you for those who gave the ultimate sacrifice of their lives for our freedom. Today we remember these freedoms and this fellowship that means so much to us. God bless America. I'm going to um, call up to the podium uh, Ethan and Eleanor Sprinkles, members of the 4-H, for the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good job. Excellent job. celebrating Veterans Day 2017. Give it up for everyone.
Veterans Day. A long time ago, when my son was still young, he says, Dad, what is a vet? And uh, I decided to pass on what my father passed on to me, a Vietnam veteran as well. Uh, I said, well, son, whether active duty, discharged, retired, or reserved, a veteran is someone who, at one point in his or her life, wrote a blank check made payable to the United States of America for an amount of up to and including their life. And that is definitely honor. And it is with honor that everyone who has made this event possible, um, not only those uh, of you here present, but also special thanks to Heather um, Begun, or big, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly, and Carol Bellinger uh, for assisting in uh, this event. They, they put the whole thing together. Round of applause for them. Yeah. So with that being said, uh, we salute each and every one of you, and thank you for serving our country. I will now ask, uh, Ms. Catherine Brayer uh, to come up to the podium. She's a member of the uh, 4-H club, so that we can go ahead and follow up on our uh, traditional card handout. We're handing out the cards, and that it's on a little bit too. <coughs> go ahead. Hi, my name is Catherine Brayer. I'm 17 years old and have been in the Blue Heron 4-H club for 11 years. 4-H is a youth organization that has strong American values. We take pride and joy in being here today. 4-H clubs from around the county have been making handmade cards for many years. We always, love to we always love to help and honor our community whenever we can. I now ask that all the 4-H members pass out the cards. And veterans, will you please raise your hands so we know who to pass them out to. Thank you.
I think this gentleman walking in the door. Thank you. Thank you all very much. Yeah. Very good. Don? There's your personal life card. Excellent. Uh, now, um, if I may call Aaron and Evans up to the podium, uh, we're going to uh, be touching the subject of the wreaths across America. Aaron? Hi, my name is Erin Evans. I'm 17 years old, and this is my 11th year in the Anderson Marsh 4-H Club, and my 7th year in the Citizenship and Leadership Project. I'm also a Lake County 4-H All-Star, and I'm here to invite you all to a Breeze Across, the Cer Breeze Across America ceremony. There are five locations in Lake County, one in Upper Lake, Hartley, St. Mary's, Kelseyville, and Lower Lake Cemeteries. The ceremonies will take place on December 16th at 9 a.m., there are ceremonies in more than 1,200 participating locations throughout the United States, in all 50 states, and even some outside of the United States. All the ceremonies start at the same time, so it starts here on the West Coast at 9 a.m. and 12 p.m. in Arlington. A little bit about Race Across America. It was started by Moral Worcester in New Columbia, Maine. Moral started Race Across America because he wanted to give back to the veterans during the it started in 1992. The Worcester Reef Company had leftover wreaths, and the company wanted to donate them to be placed on veterans' graves in the Arlington Cemetery. They were put on veterans' graves up in the, in the upper corner of the cemetery because they don't get visited as much as the other graves in the cemetery. In 2005, an iconic photo of the wreaths placed on the gravestones in Arlington in the snow went viral. Since then, people have been donating to make more wreaths to cover more veterans' graves. The goal was to cover every veterans' grave in Arlington. That goal was met in 2014. Now the goal is to cover every veterans' grave in, with a wreath for the holiday season. Wreaths Across America's mission is to remember, honor, and teach. Remember the fallen, honor those who served, and teach our children the value of freedom. We remember the fallen by placing a wreath on the veterans' graves. We honor those who served by Thanks a Million Card program and including the veterans in ceremonies. And we teach our children the value of freedom, also by including them in ceremonies and encouraging them to learn about veterans. Many organizations help to make Wreaths Across America happen. In Lake and Mendocino counties, youth organizations like 4-H, FFA, and Boy Scouts organize the ceremonies. Breeze Across America also o can be used as a fundraising program. For 4-H, FFA, and Boy Scouts use it as a fundraiser. The funds go back into the youth organizations. The funds for 4-H are used to fund leadership programs for youth. Resell for $15 a week. If you are interested, please contact, contact a local coordinator or a Reese Across America. Hope to see you all at a Reese Across America ceremony somewhere in the county or anywhere else. Thank you for your time to, to speak today. And again, ceremonies on December 16th at 9 a.m. And don't forget to remember the fallen, honor those who served, and teach our children the value of freedom. Thank you. They don't need an introduction. Clear Lake Band, come on.
Okay, everyone, our next item on the agenda is uh, for me to introduce our guest speaker. And, uh, well, for, for us and many of us, he uh, needs no introduction. But he's our representative for um, uh, Congressman uh, Garamendi's office, Mr. John Ivai. Well, good morning, everyone. Um, yes, I'm here on behalf of Congressman John Garamendi. Uh, I am his district director. Um, as his district director, uh, many times I'm, I'm able to be out in the, in the district at events to represent him where he can't be. Uh, but today is something very special. Uh, of course, his, being his district director, um, that is special, but I'm also a retired Air Force veteran. 30 years in the United States Air Force, retired out of Travis Air Force. to tell you, um, when Nancy and Saul asked me to be here, uh, and then Nancy asked if I still fit my uniform, and I said, I don't know, I asked him, let me go check. Uh, but I do, and I did, and I'm so honored to be here. Um, today is a very special day, as we honor our nation's veterans. Every veteran you know, and as a veteran, you said the following 70 words. I, you solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. I will obey the orders of the, of, of the President of the United States and the officers appointed over me, according to regulations in the Uniform Code of Military Justice, so help me God. Those 70 words recited as an oath, with right hand raised, bound our veterans to the protection of our country, to the defense of the freedoms we enjoy as American citizens. But I'll share with you that no veteran ever joined to serve our country in hopes of one day being thanked on a National Day of Gratitude. That's just not why veterans serve. But it is so important that we pause today as a nation and thank our veterans, but not only our veterans that have served our country, but the men and women, the loved ones, the family members of those veterans as well, that served right along with their loved ones as they took that oath and served our country. The family members and loved ones that served our country just as honorably as our veterans did. So I ask all of you today to humbly thank a veteran for their service, and maybe a family member of a veteran, for their service as well, because they are incredibly, incredibly deserving. I want to thank this entire community, Lake County. Uh, you have a wonderful community here. Saul, Nancy, I, I could run through a whole list of names. Uh, Frank Parker, Dean Gotham, Chris here, your supervisor, Supervisor Steele. You have an amazing community of support that does, just doesn't happen on one day of the year. And it's throughout the entire year. So on behalf of the congressman, thank you. Thank you to the veterans, thank you to the family members, the loved ones, thank you to this community for what you do every day to support our veterans and continue to do to, to take care of this most precious community that we have, our veterans of the United States of America. On behalf of the congressman, God bless America. Thank you.
I for you guys, gentlemen and ladies, uh, it has come the time for the friend of the veteran award to be presented. For that special privilege, we have Supervisor Jen Steele to do so. You want to come over? You know, when, when you're going to uh, present something for someone that's going to be the friend of the supervisor or the friends of the veterans uh, of the year, you've got to talk about the veterans a little bit. Every veteran is very, very unique. Uh, so it's a very eclectic group. They come from all walks of life. They went into the military and uh, they all had unique experiences. And they came out individuals with unique experiences. But they had some things in common. Uh, one thing that they had in common, of course, is love of country, and they all took orders. And when you went in, you didn't know what you were going to do, but you took orders. And so, by luck of the draw, things happened to you. Uh, so, we all look at veterans as though they were all uh, part of the same group, but they're all unique within that group. Friends of the veterans are those that uh, respect that, that remember it, and uh, give allegiance to it, knowing that you did something for your country. But each one of those veterans, the other thing that's unique is they all like the branch of service that they came in with and left with. And so they, uh, there's a little bit of rivalry amongst them. When I walked in the door with my Air Force hat on, somebody saw from the Marines, not to mention any names, said to me, so Air Force, now what is it again that you guys do? I mean, there's, it wasn't me though. Yes, it was. But you know, when, when, you, uh, when you celebrate the day of the veterans, on the 11th, 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 started back in World War One at the end of it, and you celebrate it well, in a way that is in your own heart, you've got to have something that you recognize that actually connects you with your service, with your country, and with the time of the war, the ballads, the themes, and the anthem. And there's no other way that that can happen unless you have music. And so today, in honor of that fact, that these folks step up every year at every event that they can to let us celebrate in a way that we can connect. We're going we're gonna to award the Friends of the Veterans to Jenny Ingram. Yeah. And Contributions to improving the quality of life for Lake County veterans presented by the Lake County Board of Supervisors and the County Veterans Service Office, November 11, 2017. All right, so that is the first award. Oh, I can't, can't put that there without getting this. Not only that, are you recognized by the county, by the veterans, by your world out here who just stood for you, but this is also a congressional commendation presented to Jenny Ingram and the Clear Lake High School Band in recognition of Lake County's Friends of Veterans Award, November 11, 2017. And this is signed by John Garamendi. And it states as follows. It is a great privilege that I present this commendation to recognize Jenny Ingram and the Clear Lake High School Band for their steadfast dedication and selfless commitment to serve, support, and recognize. The members of our nation have sworn oath to support, defend our country and the freedoms we enjoy as citizens of the United States of America. Their recognition as Lake County Friends of the Veterans Award is tremendously well-deserved. On behalf of the people of California's third congressional district, please accept my sincere gratitude for your service and all you continue to do to support veterans and their families. Let's get it. music but I am I'm so deeply touched and I, I know the kids are too um, this is um, our favorite concert to do every year we feel like it's just such a small way that we can give of our time and talent to um, 
so I just, yeah. <laughs> um, there's moments when we are practicing. Um, God bless the USA where we're so moved in class and we're like, we just want to pull it together so we can play it for you because we're, we're really grateful to be a part of this ceremony to honor veterans. So thank you. Can you stand? Thank you. We are 40 members strong, and we are very honored to perform at the veteran ceremony in honor of our local veterans. And Jenny, how long have you been doing this? This is my 12th year um, with our Clear Lake High School Jazz Band playing. Um, I took a couple years off when I had my sons, um, but it's really nice to be here and be able to share a little bit of our time and talent. <laughs> So I think it's better right here. Yeah, no, it's great. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. And she said she was not a person of award. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, our next award is uh, the Veteran of the Year. And uh, for this award, we are going to call Chris Alfiero from the uh, to go ahead and, and let us have it. First of all, I want to say, when I was asked to uh, present the, the Veteran of the Year Award, I was moved. Um, and I work for the state of California, and I travel all over the state. And I got to tell you that I love living and working in Lake County. The Veteran community here, you know, in, other, in other counties, I talk about why they're not working together and what they're not doing as a group and, and you know, just celebrating the Friends of the Veteran, the Veteran of the Year. I mean, there's so many names and so many people that, that can get this award because they do such good things in Lake County. Um, so this will be the first time of the year, the, this will be the first time that the Veteran of the Year Award will be presented to two people. They have been married since they were still on active duty. Both are career United States Navy veterans, having served more than 20 years each. They are active in many areas, and for 14 years they have been a part of the Lake County Veterans Memorial Honor Team, providing flag folding and presentation to their families of veterans at the gravesite. For 14 years they have been a part of Operation Tango Mike, a wonderful local organization that provides care packages each month to active duty military from Lake and Mendocino counties who are serving around the globe. Not only, but they did assist with the construction of Veterans Circle at Hartley Cemetery, but they spent time each year attending to its maintenance. At this time, I'd like to call up, call up Don and Peg McCown. with similar words that we presented to uh, Jenny earlier, um, but just a heartfelt thank you from the Congressman. Thank you so much for all that you've done and continue to do. Thank you. You're here. Well, we were both in the Navy in San Diego, and I was working in a saddle shop part-time, and she came in to have some work done on her saddle. And the rest is history. <laughs> so, you're, so you were both in the military at the same time? Or? Yeah, yeah. And we uh, both did 20 years. Did you ever serve elsewhere? 
elsewhere? Yes. Oh, oh yeah. So oh yeah. I served on four aircraft carriers out of San Diego, and I went. I was in Kodiak, Alaska, for two years, and I was in two squadrons. And you? I was in. I was in two squadrons and uh, two or three naval air stations. <laughs> I'm kind of. Uh, bum puzzle right now. Bum puzzle. So. <laughs> hey, did you ever figure you'd marry a Navy guy? No, I really didn't, but you know, there you are. <laughs> so, you guys uh, won the award today. Why don't you show that to us? Pardon me? Show me that award. Yeah, uh, What's that award for, Don? Uh, Veterans of the Year. All right. And I can't believe the whole thing. <laughs> me neither. To all veterans of every branch, it is with sincere gratitude we all thank you for placing your life on the line so the rest may live theirs. With, uh, we're going to go ahead and now call our chaplain up to the podium uh, for the closing prayer, and this will conclude our program for today. For those uh, who wish to do so, we invite you to join our military honors team for the gun salute. And uh, after the gun salute, uh, join us for food and refreshment, compliments of Canaktai Vista Resort and Casino. Also, before I forget, special announcement. Ronnie um, Bogner was uh, not able to join us today. However, uh, uh, I was asked to relay this to uh, all of you. On December 7th at 9 a.m., Pearl Harbor <coughs> Memorial uh, celebration for um, uh, uh, our veterans, uh, at the library park, likely to be the final event for this long-lasting tradition. So we ask uh, for each and every one of you to make a little bit uh, of time during uh, December the 7th at 9 o'clock uh, at the library park. All right, thanks a lot. Chaplain. Yeah. Good morning. I'm Dr. Herman W. Hughes, Private First Class United States Marine Corps. <laughs> Captain, United States Navy, retired. <laughs> Father of three veterans. Oh, all right. And I serve as chaplain for the Military Funeral Honors Team of Lake County, a team made up of all veterans, all volunteers of the Army. And we also have thanked all of you for coming out and supporting us, not only by your presence, but financially as well. We have done more than 1,200 funerals here in Lake County, and we continue to do so because we are proud to serve you. Our honors team has been asked to present the colors, as you've seen, but also to do to conduct a traditional military salute to fallen comrade, which consists of the firing of three rifle volleys and the playing of taps. This will be done immediately after the prayer. When taps begins, we'd like to ask you to stand and place your right hand over your heart. If you're a veteran, you may render the hand salute. It's been 60, almost uh, about 15 years since I gave this prayer at this ceremony. Uh, I think it was 2011, and I'd like to repeat that again. Please stand. <coughs> Almighty God, giver and sustainer of life and liberty, grant that as we meet to this day, our thoughts may be upon you and those who have served our land in times of war and peace. We give you thanks that through their efforts and sacrifices we may enjoy the blessings of this great land. We pray, O oh Lord, that we may have peace in our time so that the sacrifices of so many of our youth will not have to be repeated. To that end, we ask that you would strengthen our resolve to stand fast in the face of tyranny, wherever we may encounter it, that you would give guidance to those who are in authority so that justice and brotherhood may prevail. Among us, the living, like the flames of devotion to duty, 
grant that in all things we may be ready to serve for the preservation of human freedom and dignity. In the name of our Lord, amen. amen. We'd like for the honor team now to take their position outside. We will fire three rifle volleys. If you wish to go out to the prayer and watch from out there, you may do so. But believe me, the rifles are old and they will give you quite a start when they fire. And so you may want to stay in here. After the firing of the rifle volleys, our bugler will play taps. If you're a veteran, as I said, please honor the flag and our country by saluting. Well, they did. The rest of you give your praise to our God and to our country by crossing your heart with your right hand. Fire party commander, take charge and render the traditional salute. Safety's off. Ready. Aim. Fire. Ready. Aim. Fire. Ready. Aim. Fire. Present arms. <laughs>